Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Lagrangian multipliers method, method of multiplier part 2 video. In part 1 video, we learned what is the multiplier and how to use it and we saw a simple problem. We are going to see furthermore problems in this session. Let us take this problem. As I said, they will not give any method. We have to understand, we have to observe the problem, what method it is. See, it is of the form PPQQ is equal to R, where P, Q, R are the functions of X, Y, Z. You see here, it involves X, Y, Z, P, Q, all the five. And it is of this form PPQQ equal to R. So, this is a Lagrangian linear equation. Now, I can write my capital P, capital Q, capital R from the given question. Step 1, we have to write the axillary equation that is dx by p, dy by q, dz by r. Now, when I substitute this, we understood that this cannot be grouped because every term contains all x, y, z and it has addition, subtraction, etc. So, grouping will not work out in this problem. So, we have to go for the multiplier. And again, I am saying because for your strong remembrance, the multipliers can be 1, 1, 1. That means simply adding numerator, denominator r, x, y, z r 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z r some number l, m, n. Apart from this, there are many other multipliers. It depends on problem to problem. It will change. Here, let us try with this. So, take the given equation as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Now, let us observe. I have x here, y here, z here. If I multiply this inside and I add, we will be having discrepancies. x, y square will come here, minus x square will come, this two term. So, now, just we have to observe things. If I multiply and divide by x, what would happen? The problem is very good. Why? Because x square, y square, minus x square, z square. Here, y square, z square, minus x square, y square. And the third term, z square, x square, minus z square, y square. Now, I can easily cancel this two as well as z square, y square, z square, y square. Similarly, I can cancel x square, z square and x square, z square. Therefore, the multipliers are x, y, z. That means multiplying and dividing by x in the first term, y in the second and z in the third term. So, we simply say the multipliers are x, y, z. Now, multiplying x with this, y with this and z with this, adding, we get my denominator is 0. So, x dx plus y dy plus z dz in the numerator. Since the denominator we made it 0, I can equate the numerator equal to 0. Now, integrating this, we will be getting x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 is equal to c1. Now, taking the common things to the right hand side, it is going to be 2c1. Immediately write this as my u. I found u now. Next, we have to find another multiplier. See this, again this x, y and z are creating trouble to me. So, what I am going to do, simply lifting this x to the numerator. So, we will be having dx by x is equal to dy by y is equal to dz by z. Now, see the denominator, we have y square minus z square, z square minus x square, x square minus y square. This calculation you do not want to do in the exams. For your rough work, you can do. Now, if you add the denominator, it is going to be very simple now. It is going to get cancelled. See here, y square, y square get cancelled, x square, x square get cancelled, z square, z square get cancelled. So, my denominator is 0. So, I can add the numerator just like dx by x plus dy by y plus dz by z. So, directly you can write this. Now, since the denominator is 0, I can say by the ratio, numerator is also 0. Integrating this, we know as usual, we'll be getting log x, log y plus log z. So, whenever there is a log, I will write the constant also log. So, using the formula log a plus log b equal to log a b, I will write log x y z equal to log c2. Now, log log get cancelled. Therefore, x y z is equal to c2 is my answer. Immediately, I will write this as v. So, now we found our u and v. Then, directly we are going to write the solution. My general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0. Therefore, it is going to be f of x square plus y square plus z square comma x y z equal to 0. Hope you understand. Okay, let us move on to the next problem. It is a very interesting problem. You see, m is at 
minus n y p plus n x minus l z q is equal to l y minus m x. See here we have small p as well as small q. So it is on the form capital P into P capital Q into Q is equal to R. That is okay. But now when you see here we have x, y, z, p, q. In addition to this we are having L, M, N. So L, M, N they don't mention anything. They might be any constant, any number. So we can conclude this is of the form Lagrange linear equation. So I am just naming this as number problem for my convenience. It consists of three numbers L, M, N. In our exam it need not to be L, M, N. You may get like this 2Z minus 3Y. We suppose I am taking L, M, N or 2, 3, N, 4. So 2z minus 3y plus p, then 3x minus 4z q is equal to 4y minus 2x. So you may get the problem like this also. So that's why I say it as a number problem. Now we have to think how to easily solve this problem. Just see the observation here. So L, M, N are my numbers. In the first data, L is missing. The second data, M is missing. Third data, N is missing. So we can have a rough idea. It is L, M, N. Okay. This is the ordering of the number. Okay. Why I am telling all these things? When you solve the problem, you can understand. Okay. Let us write this solution. The given PDE. This is Lagrangian linear PDE of the form PPQQ equal to R. Let us write capital P, capital Q and capital R. Done. Now, step 1. We have to write the axillary equation for the given problem. dx by P, dy by Q, dz by R. We know our capital P, capital Q, capital R. Substitute here. Now, see the denominator. mz minus ny, nx minus lz, ly minus mx. I cannot do grouping because all the terms having something like nx minus lz, ly minus mx, I cannot group this. So, I have only one option, method of multipliers. I will take this as equation 1. Now, I am going to use the method of multipliers. Just we remember, we can just add, this is going to be multiplier, 1, 1, 1, x, y, z, 1 by x, 1 by y, 1 by z, l, m, n, I am keep on telling this. Here I got the number. So, I am going to try with numbers also, whether it is a multiplier or not. Let us see. So, first, so I am going to give a superb clue. You don't want to solve the problem. If it is a number problem, as I said, it is like m, z, minus n, y, or with any number just find the missing number as i said now here l is missing here m is missing here n is missing suppose you are writing this as l is equal to 4 m is equal to 2 n is equal to 3 now this is my equation what you have to check you have to check what is the number is missing here so i know 2 is one number 3 is one number 4 is one number let us see in the first term 4 is missing in the second term 2 is missing. In the third term, 3 is missing. Therefore, now 1 multiplier is 4, 2, 3. Hope you understand. So, we have to find the missing number out of the 3. Here, 2, 3, 4 are the numbers. In first term, 4 is missing. Second term, 2 is missing. Third term, 3 is missing. So, this is going to be 1 multiplier. So, one of the multiplier is 4, 2, 3. For this problem, the multiplier is L, M, N because L missing here, M missing here and N missing here. Now, the second multiplier, you can just remember X, Y, Z. When you multiply and divide by X, Y, Z, you will be getting the answer. So, if you get a number problem, you don't want to solve, you just remember this two step. One is L, M, N, the missing numbers. The other one is X, Y, Z. Now, I am going to find the first solution. So, as I said, one of the multiplier is x, y, z. You can simply write like this. x, dx plus y, dy plus z, dz like this and the other step you can immediately write x, dx, y, dy plus z, dz divided by 0. Since my denominator is 0, I can equate to the numerator. Integration of this will be x square by 2 plus y square by 2 plus z square by 2 equal to c1 by 2 you can take or you can take simply c1. Then x square plus y square plus z square is going to be 2c1. No issues. Because it's a constant, you can take either c1 by 2. If you take c1 by 2, 2, 2 will get cancelled. If you take simply cn, it will become 2c1. 
no issues whatever you do this is my finally u my answer is u is equal to x square plus y square plus z square next as i said the second multiplier is simply l m n so i'm saying again the thing if the problem is a number problem one of the multiplier is l m n the other multiplier is x y z if you remember this problem over guys you don't want to solve anything just like that you can get the score so now multiplying this we will be getting l d x plus m d y plus n d z denominator it is going to be automatically zero so nobody is going to ask you to simplify the denominator and cancel all the terms you can just write like this from this you can write l d x plus m d y plus n d z denominator is zero since the denominator is zero i can say my numerator equal to zero integration of l d x l is constant d x integration is x m y plus n z equal to c2 immediately i will take this as v my v is l x plus m y plus n z so we found u and v therefore my general solution is f of u comma v equal to 0 my u is x square plus y square plus z square and my v is l x plus m y plus n z that is equal to 0 this is my general solution student hope you understand thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye